everybody, I'm Allie. Today is Sunday, May 23rd, and this is my YNR chat vlog part one. This week has been full of surprises. We have new characters, new stories, and new hair. I am loving it. It feels like a whole new YNR. So out with the old and in with the new. I love new Abby. Um, what an entrance, first of all. My name is Abby Newman and I'd rather go naked than wear fur. <laughs> I thought it was just, I thought it was just bravo. Honestly, the whole week I was just giving rounds of applause. Um, Marcy Rylan is the actress who is now playing Abby, and I think she is awesome on so many levels. First of all, getting naked uh, is a great way to make a first impression with me, so that's, that's totally cool. And bravo to Ryan R for bringing on this character with a bang. It's something new. It's something fresh. And Marcy Rylan is really... She's a wonderful little actress, isn't she? She's got a great presence. Um, she's stunningly beautiful. She's like a Barbie doll. And I think she's bringing a lot of fun to the role. Like, we're going in a totally new direction here, and I, I am loving it. I feel like new Abby has won me over in one short week, and that's not easy to do. Um, I'm sure there are a lot of people out there that probably aren't liking her because they're, you know, because she's bubbly and she's out there and she's outrageous. But I gotta tell you, I think it's bringing a lot of freshness in, and we needed it right now. It's like whole new YNR, all new storylines. I'm loving it. Um, I think it's worth noting that the actress is actually 30 years old and she recently had a baby and I thought that was interesting because she looks so much younger she's playing a much younger role um they have aged the character of Abby I think she's 21 now um so the character has been aged although I did read that there's no plans to age Noah who is technically younger or older, I'm sorry. Noah is older than Abby, but they've aged it, so now she is older. Um, I don't know how that's gonna pan out. I think Noah's supposed to come back onto the show in, like, July. Um, so I don't know if they're gonna, you know, change the direction or what they're gonna do with that. I'm not sure. And I was surprised to note that, um, Abby has dropped the Carlton from her name. She's Abby Newman now, not Abby Carlton. Um, which I think is sad. She wants the money from Brad's estate, but she won't take his name. You know, I mean, I think that's kind of crappy. Um, especially because Brad was one of my very favorite characters, and so I think it would have been a nice homage to him, maybe if she would have kept the Carlton in there somewhere. Um, but other than that, I think that the recast and the character overhaul is a 100% slam dunk for me. I love it. Um, the new Abby looks like she could be Ashley's daughter, and <laughs> she's bitchy and sneaky like a bratty little Newman. <laughs> so um, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I love that the way, I love the way that this challenges Victor. It challenges Victor in a whole new awkward way. <laughs> and I love it. Did you guys see his face when he was uh, at the airport looking up at the television screen and realizing that his little uh, precious princess was naked? on the nightly news. Uh, I thought that was really good. Um, so now Abby is 21. She wants her money and uh, she's gonna get it because she wants to be a reality star. Uh, you know, normally I think that I would hate this storyline or the notion of a reality series coming into the Newman mix, but you know, it's just, it's so fresh and so fun for me that I'm on board. I just can't help but be on board. I think we need to lose that British producer guy. He's kind of a loser. Um, but I did enjoy seeing Rafe this week. Um, apparently Rafe's eye is miraculously healed because Rafe is looking more like the Rafe that I remembered, which is nice. Um, but she's planning to use Rafe to sue Victor and Ashley, sue her parents for um, the ability to get her inheritance. So this girl's got, you know, this girl's got balls. Because I'm sure that's going to go over real well with Victor and Ashley. Um, you know, if she wants the money, she should really just go to Jack. Because I'm sure that Jack would be able to help her find a way to, to get the money and stick it to Victor at the same time. <laughs> they could be really good partners in crime. Um, you know, I think that the only aspect of this new story that I don't like and that I'm not excited about is, and I know you're going to find this surprising, <laughs> um, they're totally going to hook Abby up with Daniel. 
and I don't like it. I like that he spanked her. I mean, she deserved it. She had it coming. I thought that was that was unexpected and hot. Um, but if if I were him, I would be a little bit careful spanking a 21 year old Newman heiress um, because this girl is so happy and that's sexual harassment, brother. So I would I would be a little more careful if I were Daniel. Um, and but you know I I guess I feel that right there is proof in and of the spanking that she's too young for him, you know? I mean, Daniel has got to be in his, what, late 20s? I mean, he's got to be creeping up on 30. And uh, Abby's 21. She's too young for him. I think that it's time for Daniel to grow up, not digress. He just got out of a marriage a, couple, a week ago. And I'm sure we'll be seeing divorce papers being delivered from Amber any day now. Um, but, you know, I, I guess I just think that the last thing that I want Daniel to do right now, and that the last thing that he needs in his life right now, is this crazy little tootsie brat bringing drama into his life. I don't know. that Maybe it's just me. Maybe you guys are excited about it, but I, it's not the coupling that I want. It's not what, you know, I, I'm ready for Daniel to be a man, um, and I, I, I'm not, I don't want to see him running around with this little girl. That's just me. So don't do it, Daniel. Don't do it. Okay, well, those are my thoughts for part one, but I'm going to post three videos today. I have a lot to talk about, so I hope that you stick with this series and you keep watching. I've got two more videos that we'll be posting to follow up, so I will see you guys then.